We went with the uh, black version here to show you, but you can also get this in the natural uh, casting finish as well. There's the intake. Let's see what other goodies we got in here. Okay, all the hardware. And then at the very bottom, we got the fuel rails. So this thing comes with everything you need, all the gaskets, the fuel rails, uh, all the hardware you'll need to bolt this on. Um, we do have it available for LS2 and 3 style injectors. If you're going with the uh, LS1 style injector, um, we also have a little billet adapter for that. So this thing's set up for uh, just about anything you need. The intake gasket here is already sandwiched together, sealed, uh, it's bolted down. We recommend on all the bolts for this intake, you run 89 inch pounds with blue Loctite. So that's already taken care of on the upper to lower. You don't have to take that apart if you don't need to. Uh, all the other hardware though, we do recommend the blue Loctite to 89 inch pounds for the fuel rails and for the intake to the heads. Okay, so let's talk about the different parts that come with this intake manifold. I'll uh, start with the fueling system. So it does come with the fuel rails and everything you're gonna need there, the brackets for LS2 or LS3 height. And if you're running something like a billet atomizer, like we run on our twin turbo race car, obviously they're pretty big. The intake does clear it just fine. And we offer a billet uh, bracket so you can run those as well. It's gonna come with all the 8AN fittings that you'll need for these fuel rails. If you're running a return system or if you need to block it off, it also comes with the block off for that. Uh, all the bolts we recommend uh, torquing down to 89 inch pounds as well as a little dab of blue Loctite on there. So the upper to lower part of the intake has already been taken care of. It's got the O-ring in there, it's sealed, and it's torqued properly. So if you don't want to, you don't have to take it apart. So let's flip this intake over and take a look at the bottom side. So under here, we have all the ports here to hook up your vacuum lines, your map sensor, all that. We, we tried to put as many as we could here. So, you know, a lot of you guys running different computer systems, boost controllers, all that. We want you to be able to hook in easily right here and have plenty of room under the hood. We didn't do it on the back like a lot of intakes because you run into the firewall then and, you know, we don't want to, any fittings back there or have to uh, mess with that at all. Right here, you got plenty of room underneath the intake to run all the lines you need. For all you big boost guys, I know about to ask the question, yes. We do have an intercooler for it. So this intercooler has the, one of the widest flanges of any intake manifold on the market, which translates to better cooling, obviously. A more efficient intercooler, more surface area in the intercooler, which you guys know translates to uh, horsepower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pop the top off so you guys can see what this bad boy looks like inside, and we can talk a little bit about the uh, reassembly procedure. So first we got these two right up under here. We'll go ahead and get to take care of those first. All right, now I'll set it back down and finish the rounds. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and pop off the top. Okay, so there it is. This is obviously one of the black powder coated versions. You can get in the uh, natural cast as well. But yeah, so there it is the inside. You can see the o-ring is already set in here. It's just one long piece. You go ahead and seal it all the way around and then where it butts together in the front you would use a little dab of a uh, RTV silicone sealant there just to make sure you don't have any leaks uh, upon reassembly. And again uh, these bolts would be cranked back down to 89 inch pounds with just a little bit of blue uh, Loctite on them. And this intercooler kit would come with all the bolts you'll need and everything to uh, obviously use it with this intake. But yeah, there's a little idea of what it looks like. Boom, ready for all the power. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or concerns that we didn't cover in this video, feel free to give us a call at the number right here or email us at this email address right here and we'll uh, get to your question as quick as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.